we're going to start detailing the scenery on the diorama right now and restrain stuff. Hello and welcome to Red Strain Stuff, model train and how to videos. So if you're building a model railroad and want some tips and ideas or you just like watching trains run around, then hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. Well, welcome back or hello if it's your first time here. Today we're continuing on with my diorama build part 12 where I'm going to be uh, adding details to the scenery. Um, and if you haven't caught up with the other 11 parts of this series, I'll put a link to it just up here. So yeah, anyway, so you're putting detail into the scenery. Um, like I said, scenery is all about layering. So you start off with your base layer, then you add some, some top, and then you just keep adding layers to add to the texture, the visual aspect of it all. So with this time, I'm just going to be adding uh, some rocks, like using branches and twigs uh, to act as like deadfall, broken trees, whatever. Um, Tuck grass tufts to add uh, a bit of texture, a bit of a bit more of a 3D effect. So anyway, enough of me going on about it. Let's go and have a look. All right, I thought I'd uh, just show you a few of the things I'm going to be using for detailing the uh, scenery. So first of all, I've got these. I don't know who made these. I've had these for years, but they're like little. That's uh, going to focus in. Little like, sort of yellowy, browny gra grass tufts. I got uh, picked up these the other day. Never use these. I don't know what they're going to be like. Here's some uh, six mil green grass tufts from Knock, or however you say that. They're very. When you look at them, they're very not realistic in there, but. I've got one here and what I do is I, I just sort of get my fingers out, flatten it out, spreads it out a bit, makes it look pretty good. Oops. I've also got some uh, my various from that rock that I shifted earlier in my earlier videos. So I've got some different sizes of talus in there. Some various sized twigs, depending on the scale, depending on which ones you use. And this one is a bit bizarre. I had you know, my wife use some old uh, thyme for um, cooking and she had some left over and you know, not a row rotor. Well, that could be used as scenery. So it actually uh, dries out. You can uh, make it messy. Just some, they are various size smaller twigs. And you can also use the uh, the leaves sort of crush up and use that as a bit of uh, deadfall and stuff so anyway that's um, some of the stuff I'm going to be using all right so we'll start um, adding all these detail bits to this scenery I showed you just before so first of all we'll start off with using the um, those brownie tufts so all I do is get one in a in the tweezers just put in a little bit of white glue on it and just pick a spot, put it in, just move it around a little bit. Let's see what's another one. Nice one there. So I'll just run that one in there, like so. one of those green ones in and see how that comes out. So if you don't, if you don't like the way it looks really you can um, you can come back and I just take it out and add something different. I've got another, I've got another green one in there. Hey? Yeah, I might just put that green one, I'll just put that one there, right? Alright, so 
that for the moment. Now with the twigs, as I said, I'm using that um, thyme thing because they're really thin. You can see, uh, hopefully I will focus in. Just uh, with these, I just crack them off. Just make a bit smaller. Put a few here and there randomly. Now with these, I don't use. I actually use like a dil the, the diluted white glue and alcohol or wet water to put these on. It's just as easy. Uh, so depending on your scale, obviously you're going to make them bigger or smaller. But just lay a few around randomly. Find some thicker ones. Drop them. I'll just put that one in over there. Now I'll just get to the bigger twigs. Now these ones it's will look like they're fallen trees. These ones I'll just put a little bit of white glue on. And just place them one randomly there. Just in there. So, all right. The other thing is, I said I'm covered using those dried up thyme leaves. I just sprinkle a few around here and there. Actually, just add a bit of a bit of texture onto the ground cover. It, not a lot, just a little bit like that. And it's come through, like I said, with my. Just drop a little bit of alcohol around where you've put those twigs and things. Just try to remember where you put them so it makes life a bit easier. Come through with your uh, diluted glue. Just uh, put them on. Quickly notice if you go somewhere where you haven't put uh, any alcohol or wet water because it just speeds up a lot. So, so anyway, right, that's just that little section. So I'm going to continue on doing that, and then we'll uh, get on something else. Another thing you can add is just some like random rocks. If you ever know if you ever walked around in the uh, in the scrub bush, what do you want to call it? You often just see rocks. So I'll just go into my collection of various gravels and just find some nice sized rocks just give it in a little bit of white glue and say, oh, you know, just randomly just put a couple around so Yeah, just something else you can do to add a bit of uh, texture to your scenery. Alright, now another way for adding detail is on your rock face. And where I've got, I added these, if you watched my earlier one where I put the rock faces on, where I've got various different rock castings and just sort of blended them together. I still have got these big gaps. And I don't know if you can see, you can actually see the white behind it where um, for the plaster so 
good way to get rid of that. In a simple way, I've just used some of this little and seen each clump foliage. I'll just get a bit of it, I'll dip it in the white glue, and literally just shove it in the hole. Sizes. That's it. That adds one that covers up the gap. And two, if you ever look at uh, rock faces, there's usually some foliage, something's growing out of them somewhere. Now, now use a couple of different colours. And a bit of difference. It's amazing how easy this stuff goes on when you haven't got a camera on. But I'll just keep on going through with that. And we'll have a look at when I go through the end, we'll have a good look at it. Alright. So another aspect of adding detail to your scenery is on a lot of mountain mountain cliffs and rock faces, there's always a lot of talus um, and debris of rocks just Sort of in down the bottom of the hill where it's rolled down and stuff, so so I put a few of those on there. So I do, it's got my uh, scrabbly stuff, just a mixture. I'll just, uh, I'll just chuck a little bit in there, right? So with this you really you need some like different sizes, so bigger rocks, smaller rocks. Let's see what's right about falling down there. And if you go through and you find the smaller rocks, just drop them in. So there you sort of get get the idea of that. I shall uh, glue it all down, continue on. And I said, well, when I'm finished, we'll go right over. All right, well, we've got a fair bit of the uh, ground cover detail done. Still got some more to do, but I'll do that as we go along when I do a bit more. Let's just have a quick look at what I've done now. So, excuse me if it... Uh, it goes out of focus, it's a bit wobbly, so but there you go, you can see, see the rocks there, just come down a bit, twigs, <coughs> sorry, the thing is the uh, fallen fallen trees, got the, the tufts of grass, so we're all near. a few rocks there and there. Let me go across here and I'll put a few tufts of grass down there. It's a bit of, uh, bit of the talus riprap, whatever rip rock, whatever it's called, down the bottom. All that. Put the little bit there. <coughs> Excuse me. Shrubs or whatever growing out of the holes in the rock. You come along, and you've just got all the uh, debris at the bottom of the hill there. Excuse me, I'll do that. So, at the moment, that's where that sits. Let's focus in. A far out shot. Yeah, so anyway, that's uh, coming out quite well. See, I'll add some more detail as I go along. So, 
hopefully uh, my plan is for the next one is to start attacking the river so we'll, uh, see you soon all right well there's some simple techniques you can use to just add a bit of detail into your scenery I said natural products uh, using old twigs I said I use that old um, thyme a cooking herb which surprisingly works quite well um, the grass tufts now the the green ones wasn't overly happy with I said I never used those and I couldn't get the other ones I usually use so but I found that if I push them out a bit they came a bit more realistic and then I actually dusted them just with a bit of plain some of that dusty dirt so just take that colour down they were really bright but I think all in all it's come out quite well uh, so using the um, rocks um, do the talus, the riprap, whatever it's called, along the uh, sides of the mountain, which um, I think we'll be using a bit more of that when we get into doing the river. So, which is what I'm hopefully going to start next, is getting the detail on the river. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Give it a thumbs up, share this video with anyone you feel would enjoy it, and please, Feel free to leave a comment down below. So Alright, next week, part 13, like I said, I'm going to start uh, getting into the river and detailing that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. It's been great, great having you here, and we'll see you next time. Reach Tracer. Bye.